to start an on-the-fly Teams meeting, just go ahead and start your Teams application. You can go up to the top in your Calendar tab and choose Meet Now. You can go ahead and create a new title for the meeting. So this would be uh, on-the-fly meeting. And you can choose whether or not to show your video to have your microphone active, which device you'll be using. In this case, for my Teams meetings, I'll be using my Plantronic Savvy headset. And you can choose additional options, such as whether or not to substitute a virtual background, which you can preview on your screen. This is a relatively new feature to Teams and an exciting one for those people who are working from home and maybe uh, don't have the uh, cleanest of environ. Um, so you can turn that off by choosing the prohibit symbol here. You can also upload new background settings for your liking. Once you're ready to start, just go ahead and click join now. This will generate your on the fly Teams meeting. Now, to add new people from your organization or your contacts list, uh, just start searching for people's names and they'll automatically begin populating from within the list. You can also uh, if you have a pre-set up URL created for your Teams meetings, you can simply copy the join info and send it to people in chat. Uh, to see the options available for your meeting, simply click the three button ellipses here at the top, click Manage Permissions, and this will open up your Teams meeting options. Now, on the fly meetings by default, do have the settings left pretty open and permissive in the sense that by default, uh, anyone can bypass the lobby if you turn this to people in my organization or only me, uh, you'll have to let people into the room and it will announce to you who joins and leaves and when. And you can choose the presentation options to say, I only want myself or people in my organization to present, uh, only specific people or only myself. So depending upon the purpose of the meeting, you may want to set your um, settings differently. And then once you're done, you can just simply click save and that's it.